got this brush it brush it <laughs> Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a full face of makeup using the AliExpress brushes, which is a set of 10 and the brand is called Cyline, Silen, something of that sort. So I have used these before. This is not a first impression and uh, these are so reasonable. Like they cost literally 638-ish or 40-ish Indian rupees depending upon the exchange rate. Let me just quickly check what rate it is at. So I will put the link down below of the seller from whom I picked this specific set up. Like in AliExpress, there are so many makeup brushes, like there are so many of them. But I wanted a specific makeup brush, which I'll come to that. Let me first cover on the cost pricing. So for the price point, right now I think there's a sale going on. It's like a mobile only deal. So it is between $8.64 to $9.92. Now the $9 price point is if you need a bag, which I didn't order with a bag. So without the bag, the cost is about $8.64, which is approximately with today's exchange rate. Now again, this is an approximate amount. So it comes up to 638 Indian rupees. As with this specific seller, there was a shipping charge of about 63 cents. So I paid like 46 rupees for shipping, which is totally cool. So yeah. So the whole reason why I got this product set is because I wanted to buy a flat top kabuki brush like this one because for my foundation I thought this will be the perfect one I do use the real technique buffing brush but I wanted something like this one so I saw the price of this this one separately all these are like sold kind of separately as well so this alone was about 168 Indian rupees but then when I saw the set which was for about 600 odd rupees with 10 brushes of course it's a good deal so I picked those out so since I wanted this kind of a brush I did look into uh, Nykaa as well as an Amazon I did find few brands but they were so expensive like some of them it's like a brush set of five for the face and that was around 2500 Indian rupees that is too pricey as well as the ones that were inexpensive I think the brand is Vega Vega something so those had foundation brushes like like this one so they had foundation brushes like this which is not my personal preference for foundation like probably if you want to apply it it is fine I literally use this for face packs right now but uh, yeah I was looking for a specific one and I found it in Aliexpress for such a low price so yay so in the end of the video, I will be giving my two cents about these brushes because I have been using them for over two to one and a half months. So I do have some things which I'm not happy about and some things which I love about them. So stay tuned. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look using only those brushes, then keep on watching and before that, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So the first things first, I have no makeup on my face, I have just applied is uh, this, the Burt's Bee Tinted Lip Balm, love it, and this is in the shade Hibiscus. So let me zoom you guys in because I'm going to do my eyebrows first and then the base makeup using these brushes. Okay, so there are two kinds of people in makeup, one who do their uh, eyes first and then their foundation and the others who do their foundation first and then their eyes I come in the first one so they do have this one this eyeshadow brush I think this was kind of like a free thing that they kind of sent yeah. so it has one end is the eyeshadow brush the other has the spoolie I personally prefer my uh, eyeshadow brush to be very stiff but this is not it's a bit softer uh, like for example the Anastasia brush yeah so this one I'm sorry it's a bit dirty but this is much more stiff when you compare it to this one like look at this so this is much more stiff which is like my personal liking than this but today we're gonna try out all the brushes so let's go so for the eyebrow I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. So I'm just going to take this and coat it as much as I can because this is a soft brush so I don't know how this is going to pick up. 
uh, this is one of the brushes that I have not used at all. So yeah. So first I'm gonna take the spoolie and brush the eyebrows up. Now this is really soft. I can feel it. But it does the job, so it's fine. I like the spoolie than the brush personally. Okay, you know what? I can spend 30 fucking minutes doing my eyebrows, but I'm not gonna do that shit right now. I'm just gonna let this be. It is decent, it is okay, not too bad. Not to my personal liking, but it's okay. So for the foundation, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I've not used it in a hot minute. So, and I'm in the shade 310 Sun Beige, just in case if you are curious. So I'm gonna take one pump. Generally, I don't go directly and then use it. I always, across my face and then I go by the way I'm looking a little bit that side because my viewfinder is right there foundation brush is worth it really worth it for the price i have used it in a few videos before like a bunch of products and this is one of the good ones so concealer i'm going to use the maybelline age rewind so my father is in the phone in the other room the walls are very paper thin so you can hear him so please don't mind that uh, so for the concealer, I'm going to use the 204 brush. It looks like this. Now this I have used for concealer as well as setting some loose powder. So this is a good brush. It's really, really nice. So today I thought why not use a pressed powder rather than a loose powder so I'm using the Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 310 and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take this big powder brush just swirl it around and pick up the product and just go over my full face setting it just the concealer, the foundation, the everything. So this is my go-to kind of a blush and bronzing cream. I never use a blush, but I do use the bronzing cream a lot. It is by e.l.f. and it is in St. Lucia. Lucia? Lucia? Okay. So it comes with a nice big mirror and this is how the shade looks. And the brush I'm going to use is this angle brush and I will tell you why I use the small brush. For the cheeks, I would contour by applying this, I mean applying the contouring whatever cream with this and on the nose, this is such a perfect blush, uh, blush. okay so it perfectly kind of fits into your nose like that region and it is perfect. So for the cheeks, I do not use to blend this because that will take like forever but I just use this to apply it. So there you go. such a cool toned brown and I really like it and now whatever is left over is what I'll go with my nose contour 
naturally. So for blending the contour, I usually use this brush or this brush as well. So I use both, any one of them to blend the contour. So for today, I thought I will use this one, why not? And this looks very similar to the contouring brush with uh, Real Techniques. So for blending the nose contour, I'm going to be using this brush in number 207. So it's a nice fluffy brush and it is perfect to blend in this region especially. So I'm using the blush in Milani Luminoso. So so, so this is completely half on, but my favorite, favorite blush. So I'm going to use this brush for the blush. So this is in the number 203, swirly swirly. And this again, I have used this brush even for contouring, so it is nice because it's angled. So, but today I wanted to use this for the blush. Because I feel even for blush, it's really nice since it hugs. Oh. So for the eyes, I'm going to use the ColourPop Yes Please palette. And uh, yeah. And I love, love this eyeshadow palette. If there is one palette I would ever recommend it to anybody, it would be this one, which is so inexpensive. The color, shades, the blendability, everything is beautiful. So this is the palette. I keep forgetting that this is a review on the brushes and not the products. So sorry about that. Now for the eyeshadow, I really do not know which one, but we're just going to wing it today. So we have like four brushes left over for the eyes. So since there are only four, I'm just going to do a very simple kind of an eye look. I think, I don't know. For the eyeshadow, the first transition shade I'm going to go is with this shade right here. Just to darken up the crease a little bit more, I'm going to take this shade right here, this one, and go in with it with the same brush but very lightly, like hardly tapped into it. Now for the inner part of my eyes, I'm going to go with this rose gold shade. For this rose gold shade that I'm going to use next over all over my eyelids, I'm going to be using this brush. It is a 208 brush. So this is the brush I'm going to use, which is the 208 brush. It's a nice flat curved kind of a brush. I'm going to take this brush right now which is a 209 brush and coat it with this brick red kind of a shade for my lower lashes. Just going to connect it with the edges. I didn't tap off the brush because I wanted to put because 
it, 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 it will come up good. So this is the completed eye look and I used like just three brushes so that's so with this angled brush that I have I usually use it lately I mean lately I have been using it to put a nice pop of color in the inner corner of my eyes so that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna take this shade right here this gold kind of a foiled shade So this is the eyes and now let me just do my uh, eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I have done the eyeliner, some lashes, a little bit of kajal and my lipstick is on. Now the last step is remaining which is using a highlighter. This is the brush that we used for applying our concealer as well as um, blending the contour. So I'm going to use the same brush for the highlight as well. In general, I will be using a different brush altogether. But for this video's sake, I'm going to be using this brush and it is the number 204. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold and go over this quite a lot. Okay, so we have finished the full face of makeup. So for my thoughts on these products, first let me divide it into the face products. Now I really, really love the powder brush. It is amazing. So even with loose powder, I just swirl it, put it all over my face and it is beautiful. So this brush is like so soft. It is amazing. It's dense. It's great for pressed powder as well as for loose powders. It is amazing balls. So I have used this a lot of times, love it. So I love the foundation brush. It is soft and dense at the same time and I really like this brush as well. And also just to let you guys know, I have washed them so many times. I have not gone through any shedding or anything. Nothing has come off so far. So, so far, so good. So this brush right here, I have used it for blushes as well as for contouring. It just, I don't know, it just depends. Whatever I grab, whenever I grab it, I just use it. So I love the fact that it's angled, it perfectly hugs the cheek area and it is amazing. So love this brush as well. Now the contouring brush. Okay, so this brush which is in 204, I have a little bit of an issue because this is a nice brush. Like the brush is nice, it's perfectly dense. Now for this specific brush, I have a little bit of a problem because I feel that the glue is kind of coming off. Do you guys see the way how it's... So if you see close by the glue, you can see over here. I feel this is going to come off anytime if I put too much pressure, but so far it is still sticking, but yeah, it's kind of weird. So this one brush is what I was a bit disappointed. It didn't happen earlier. It's just recently that this has happened. So just letting you guys know on that. Next, we'll go for the eye kind of uh, brushes. So this is a nice kind of a fluffy blending brush. I love it. I've used it so many times. Love this brush. It is in the number 205. Now for 206, okay, this is a new star in this set, which I did not expect because this brush is perfectly angled. It's small. It is perfect for contouring my nose and it is just overall a very nice brush so yeah now 207 is another nice fluffy kind of a blending brush i really like this as well nothing different everything is nicely glued so that is that 208 today was the first time i used it it's a nice brush again this brush will be perfect even if you want to apply some concealer on your you know below the brows it will be perfect as well as underneath or this crevice is right here or if you want to like specifically use like a crease or use a concealer and cut your crease as well this will be perfect 
the next one is so this is a nice pencil brush as well I really like it if I for the lower lash line as well as for the ends if I want to put a specific darker color or just on the ends alone and then blend it this is just perfect for that so this is the pencil brush which is the number 209 and uh, last we have is an uh, eyebrow brush so this will be a good brush for your eyebrows or even for concealer under your eyebrows just to define it as well as uh, if you want to use it for the inner corners like I did perfect or even under the uh, brows over here by the brow bone if you want to put a highlighting kind of shade it is perfect so this is also good and the last one which we they gave for free like 10 brushes are these that is it but they gave one more brush for free which is very sweet of the seller is this dual ended brush so this is the eyebrow brush which is the last one which was given as free now with this brush i did not like it that much the reason being the brush is very soft it is just a personal preference i mean it did the job and everything but i personally like the eyebrow brush to be very stiff and not as soft as these but uh, yeah the spoolie end was just like a normal spoolie it was nice to brush off your eyebrows using it so this is it so that is it for today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the like and comment down below if you have any requests like if you want me to review any specific product then comment down below i will try my level best to buy them and review them for you as well as do not forget to follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye <laughs> Again.